It's that feeling you get deep down inside when the things that you have built your life upon start to crumble beneath your feet. It's a feeling we know all too well. It is fear and it is worry. You see, we often fear about people's perception about us. We seek their attention. We crave their approval in order to find our worth and our purpose in this life. It's the fear of others that brings out worry. And out of worry, we begin to misplace our identity. No longer are we worshiping our Creator, but instead we are worshiping His creation. It's the fear of others that have become idols in our lives, taking our time, our devotion, and our reverence. You see, the lie that fear and worry tell you is that you are missing something that you desperately need, that you are nothing without the approval of man. And it's when these idols are shaken down to their very core, we are left empty and broken. So how do we as Christians respond to this? How do we respond to our fear and worry? Well, we focus on the gospel. You see, the gospel proclaims a different song. The gospel proclaims that our Creator came down to be our Savior. And that what we really need in this world is not what man has to offer, but is what Jesus has to offer. You see, this is the truth that David proclaims in Psalm 23 when he sings out, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. It is in Jesus and the Good Shepherd that we find our righteousness. There's nothing that man could ever say or could ever do to take away from what Christ has already given to you. You see, there's a lot of things in this earth that we can seek after, but nothing in this world can satisfy your heart like Jesus can. So let us find our rest in Jesus and who he proclaims you to be.